Let's talk about managing your promotional and affiliate links. If you're an online marketer, content creator, influencer, or affiliate, you probably have a growing list of links that you share on a daily basis with your audience and that you embed in your content over and over again. This can be anything from embedding links into your blog posts or articles, sharing them on social media, making them accessible in your books, whether they are digital or paperback books, your digital products, inside private communities, in your YouTube videos, and so on. And we all know what happens from time to time. Some of these links stop working. Maybe the products that you mentioned are out of stock or discontinued. Maybe the brands went out of business, or maybe they just moved their entire operation to a different affiliate platform, meaning that all the previous links that you had referring them are now no longer available or tracking. This leaves you with a bunch of broken links that you need to change ASAP. It happened to me more than once and it's always so frustrating to have to take time out of your day to go back to all the previous content that you've put out there and change those links one by one. The trouble is that when you have a lot of evergreen content and I run multiple blogs, my main blog has over 150 articles on it, I can't manually go in and check every single day if all the links are still working. It's really really, really time consuming, even when I'm just trying to find one specific link that I've included, because odds are if I mentioned it once, I've mentioned it in multiple articles, right? What then happens is that on my blog, I will find links that haven't been working for a couple of months, meaning I have been losing out on income or I've been just sending people to a broken link, which is just frustrating for the end user as well. And when it happens for something like my paperback books, I can't even go in and change it. Those books have already been printed out and they're in people's hands and homes, I can't just go and edit them as simple as I edit a blog post. This also applies to PDFs that people download once and then even if you change it and reshare the link, they'll probably still go back to the original PDF that they downloaded and still have the broken links there. Or in something like YouTube videos, which obviously if you've spoken out the links, you cannot change them. And this is why having a link manager tool is so important. I've been using Pretty Links for a while, but today I wanted to introduce you to a new alternative, and that is ClickWhale. They have kindly sponsored this video, so today I just want to take you through what this tool can do for you, how it can help you keep your links organized and prevent broken links in the future, and a quick walkthrough of how to set it up, how to use it, and how to prevent the loss of any further income. Before we get started, keep in mind that there is a free alternative of ClickWhale and then a pro version, which I will be demonstrating shortly. If you wanted to follow along with the tutorial, or just test out click well you can sign up for the free version using the link below or just take the plunge and follow along with the pro version which you can access by going over to the sheapproach.com slash click see what I did there let me show you how easy it is to get started with Clickwell and what it can do for you and your links to get started with Clickwell all you have to do is follow the link in the description of this video click on their get started button and choose your plan you can choose one of their available plans based on how many websites you need it for or if you want to try a free version first just scroll down and click download the free version once you download and add that to your WordPress plugins, so once again, super simple to do, just follow their process or go to plugins, add new and upload the file, you'll be taken to the dashboard where you can instantly start creating links. Let me show you how that works. Simply go to links and add new, find a product that you want to promote. For example, let's say I'm going to promote this clip art bundle and this is my affiliate link for it. You'll see here, this is the full affiliate link that I will need to share but I can turn that into a super simple link. First of all, I'm going to give it a title so I know what this link is later on. Then I'm going to add a slug. So this is what I want the link to be. You'll see a preview of it here. And obviously where it says she approach, it will be replaced with your own website URL. But I want to make it super simple so you can have something like X tree. And then for the target URL, I'm going to paste the link that I just copied usually for affiliate links and redirection types, I just leave it as 301. And then leave the no follow mark on here and the sponsored one if it is an affiliate link or a sponsored link. 
I do have a video that explains in full when you need a nofollow and the sponsor tags attached to your links in regards to affiliate links, normal links, and so on. So do go and follow that if you want to make sure that you're using it. But if you're using this as a simple redirection link and you just want people to go to one of your pages, it's not paid, it's not sponsored, it's still on your blog or one of your social media accounts, for example, you can untag both of these. And then you basically save the link. Once the link is successfully saved, you can copy it. So copy this link and test it out. You'll see that if I go to the sheapproach.com slash extra, it takes me to the full link. So it takes me to this full bundle from design bundles that I'm an affiliate for. And then you can repeat the process with multiple links. You have an unlimited number of links that you can use. For example, let's say I want to promote this wedding sign bundle. I'm going to copy this link, go back to my list and you'll see that it will already tell me that the link I have created, the target URL, you can create categories for it if you want to categorize your links a little better. So if you know you're gonna be creating a bunch of design bundle templates, for example, just go to categories and you can create categories. Or if you're organized enough, that's not necessarily a must. But simply scroll back up to links, add new, and repeat the process. Paste the target URL right here. Name it something you'll remember and give it a slug that is easy to write and remember. Mark your nofollow and sponsored if necessary and save the link. Once the link is saved, simply go and copy it and you'll see that if you go to the shareproof.com slash wedding, it will now take you to the wedding bundle. It's that simple. Now you might have noticed this little alert that shows up on my dashboard. Clickwell has discovered that I am using pretty links for my links on my website and you have the opportunity to migrate all your pretty links data and links to Clickwell by just starting the migration here. So if you have been using pretty links previously and you want to switch over to Clickwell and you're upgrading to Clickwell and just want to make sure that everything is in one place, you can easily do that. They will walk you through everything. Now that you have your links, it's so, so easy to share them in a hurry. So let's say for example, I'm writing a tweet about it. I can simply add my link from memory or from my list of links in the Clickwell dashboard. And the link looks like my website. Once you have started creating and embedding links strategically, you can go to your statistics to find out more about how they're performing. You can then select the period of time based on where you're looking for, go all time, go recent days. And you see that the two links that I've just created are battling for most clicks. But you'll be able to easily tell the links that you have. You'll see the name that you've given it and also the destination URL if that helps you identify it, as well as how many clicks they have gotten. So in time, you can build a really, really good understanding of what people are clicking on. Such an important statistic. Once again, if you are using another tool, you can simply migrate your link super easily by going to Clickwell tools and you will see that in the migration tab, they will identify links that you can migrate from pretty links or other devices that you might be using. You can also import links if you have them in a specific spreadsheet. So basically just have a spreadsheet or the CSV file and you can move your entire spreadsheet. So if you've been keeping track of your links manually, you can move them to Clickwell in a single click. To sum it up, here are three benefits of using Clickwell. The first benefit and the most important one is that it prevents broken links. If the target URL changes at any point, instead of having to go down and manually track and change these links, you only have to change it once. And that is from your Clickwell dashboard. You go in, you find the link once, change the destination URL to the new one, and it automatically updates for every single place where you've inserted the original Clickwell link. This is especially important for affiliate links as brands and companies do change the platform that they are using so, so often. And they basically leave you in the lurch or give you a really tight deadline to switch over all your links. That is all good and dandy if you have the time to do so and you, you can easily find all the links that you've mentioned previously. But like I said, in certain scenarios, it's impossible to change those links. Let's say, for example, you've published a paperback book or you had to write out the 
link that people can go to. And you've seen these in a lot of resources. So for example, in the four hour week book, there are a bunch of links that are there to give people resources to read more. If that link changed, the creator of the book can't just go and republish that book with a new change. So it had to create a set link that will stay available for the remaining of the time. And this is what ClickWell will allow you to do. Same thing applies for YouTube videos or social media videos where you've spoken out the links and it's just worth doing for ease and convenience. The second reason why you should use ClickWell is to A, B, test. So this is something that a lot of pro affiliates and online marketers do, and it works really well for them. They basically run experiments with their links and their pages and their content to see what performs better. And to be able to do that, you need to be able to look at the analytics and look at the tracking of how those links performed. And ClickWell can help you do that. Let's say, for example, you want to send out an email and really want to maximize the clicks that you get from that email. Well, run a few tests and see what your audience is more likely to click on. For example, if you're going to mention a product or a brand, you can include a variety of links. Some of them can be attached to images, to calls to action, to the name of the brand or the product product and so on. And you can create a few tracking links, for example, Boots 1, Boots 2, Boots 3, with the same exact destination URL. So the actual product link doesn't need to be different, but by creating multiple ClickWell URLs for it, it will allow you to understand what got the most clicks. Something that I discovered works for my email strategy and that I have been able to cultivate and repeat to get repeat success. And I'm saying this is somebody who's making more than 50% of her income through affiliate marketing sales is adding affiliate links to calls to action that starts with yes. So if you say something like, yes, I want these boots in my closet versus buy these boots here, the first has a bigger impact for both clicks and revenue. And I've also discovered that most people will click on the first link in the email. So the one that is at the top of the email versus follow up links. So this is super, super important because I used to start my email with a couple of random resources or telling people, Hey, I've read this book or I've done this. And people would go and click on that link and won't click on follow up links. So that has taught me add the most important link, the one that I actually want people to click on first in the email. And then for any affiliate promotions, try to come up with a call to action that starts with the statement. Yes. These little tweaks make such a big difference, but you have to understand your audience and what works for them. And AB testing will allow you to do that. So run a couple of experiments. You have absolutely nothing to lose and look to see what got the most clicks in your ClickWell dashboard. And the third and final reason why ClickWell can be really beneficial for you is just the ease and convenience that it provides. If you're a content creator or affiliate marketer, you probably mention a lot of the brands over and over again. And if you're like me, you probably have a super big spreadsheet of all of your affiliate links and all the links that you usually share with your audience, right? ClickWhale makes it super easy to keep everything in one place, keep it organized and be able to create those links and share them in the moment. So instead of having to actually go in to your spreadsheet to find a link, if you're putting together a video, if you're running a blog post, you can write it out. It's also much easier for your audience to go to something like your blog name and a short memorable word after it. And that is the entirety of the link rather than an affiliate link. That's something like ebay.com slash product ID, ABCD, one, two, three, four, five slash merchant ID slash da, da, da. Affiliate links are known to be really long and cumbersome tracking links. They have to be that because that is where the tracking is embedded. And that is how these affiliate platforms know that you're the one who generated the sale, but you can never share them with somebody if they ask you on social media or in a video, you can't just be like, Hey, just go into your browser and write these 200 characters, right? So it's so much easier to then create the link in ClickWell, add the super long link as a destination URL and make the actual clickable link that people need to go to a super simple link. That way, if you're on the go and you just need to include it in your content, you can remember it off the top of your head. If you want to manage your affiliate links wisely and make sure that you never have a broken link again, sign up for ClickWell below. Like I mentioned, you can get started for free and upgrade when the time is right. Another great feature that ClickWell has is their Linktree alternative. So they do have this feature that allows you to create a quick landing page with your most important links. So for platforms like TikTok or Instagram, where you can only have one bio link, you can kill two birds with one stone if you sign up for a click whale because that feature is included. 
so you can create a really simple and stunning landing page with your most important links and you'll see it demonstrated here super easy to create that has been all for today's video if you loved this video you want more affiliate marketing tips you want more content creation tips and you want to be able to monetize your following make sure to hit that subscribe button check out the other videos that i have on this topic and follow along and come join our facebook group we have over 15,000 members and we're helping each other kind of grow supporting each other sharing content sharing tips it's called a smart blogging approach and we talk everything blogging online marketing and kind of tech resources in there if you're stuck on something if you have a question or you just want the support of an amazing community come join it's absolutely free to join we have over 15,000 members in it to this day and it's growing every single day and we do have promo threads where you can come and you can share some of your links and get more traffic to your resources your blog posts articles and even get feedback on some of the content that you already have out there take care and see you soon